New phone, new screen protector. Let's get one installed. Dave Taylor here and I'm looking at the new iPhone XR. It's very nice, but like all iPhones, it makes me anxious to just have it without any protection. Sure, we're gonna put it in a case, but that screen surface, I know, Gorilla Glass, it's super tough, they do a great job with it, but if it has any impact at all, I'd rather have something else absorb the brunt of it and possibly get chipped or cracked rather than the phone screen itself. Ironically, when I was prepping for this, I actually dropped this phone and the screen protector that was on it got chipped. So it was perfect timing, perfect timing, that we are going to install one of these. This is the Spigen Glaster, or Glass TR, depending on how you pronounce it, tempered glass screen protector for the iPhone XR. Now, these are really nice screen protectors and at a good price too. So it has an oleophobic coating, which means that it's somewhat resistant to the greases of your fingers. And it has a 9H hardness, which is presumably not as, you know, not as good as 10H, but better than 8H. <laughs> I don't know what that means either. And it's made out of actual real glass. Also just as nice, it comes in a two pack. So if for some reason you don't get it installed properly or he's not your favorite wrapper, <laughs> see, two pack, Never mind. Okay, we'll just keep moving forward. So the way these install now are, it's super easy because it not only comes with everything you need, but it comes with a little case. So you put your phone in the middle of this thing and basically it does the work for you in terms of lining everything up. So let's see how this works. Well, it looks like they actually have two. How about that? So let's see. Step one, remove film. So I think the way this works, oh, this is gonna be even more interesting because I think you actually install it phone screen down. Let's see. So before applying, remove any screen protector or stickers from your screen. Wash your hands, I already did that, that's super important. And use the cleaning wipe to remove dust and oil from the phone itself. So, everything's included. In fact, that since it's a two pack, it has two of everything. So, I don't see any obvious way to open it. So, we will resort again to the opening device, which happens to also be my knife. So, let's see. We will hopefully be able to do this without any blood because you don't want to see any blood on camera, do you? Actually, you probably do. What the heck? You want to see blood, right? You want to see action. This should be like some Hollywood extravaganza. Well, I'm not going to deliver. So, no blood, not going to happen. But we do have everything else that we need. We have stickers. We have dust removal stickers, right? So, let's see. Start with lens cleaning and it actually even says it has one wipe in it, so that's probably not actually step one. But we will use it, and we will wipe down the phone screen. And again, I can't emphasize enough the importance of starting out by actually washing your hands thoroughly, because it's so easy to get dust, and if you have dust underneath your screen protector, it will drive you bonkers forever. So do it right the first time, and we're gonna just use this wipe, super easy. The phone is still brand new, so it's still in pristine condition. And we'll get it all nice and clean. I see no dust or anything on here, which is nice. So then, let's see, then we can use the dust removal sticker, I suppose. Although, actually, I don't even think we need to use that because there is no dust on this screen at all. So now, next step, let's see. Then, step one is to peel this off. So, mostly we're working with the case. So step one will be to peel this off. And then step two is we're gonna put this on the phone. And I just wanna make sure that there's the cutout on the top. And of course the iPhone XR is part of the iPhone X family. So it has the cutout, which you'll also want on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just line it up. And we're going to put it on the phone Let's see, there we go, so it's on the phone, and I can see, actually, that the adhesive is adhering, 
and so it is actually a connecting to the phone surface which is exactly what you want so step two press and slide then wait 30 seconds and then remove the sticker so has it been 30 seconds I don't know but I don't see how you remove the sticker let's see how that part goes um, hmm. Well, there's a little bit of a puzzle here because it says to remove sticker, but they, aha, uh -huh. I got it. Now, let me show you before I go further. So here's what you see. And then on the other side, it just looks like that. So there's really not much to see here. So I'll put this back down and then the sticker, it's a little tricky to get it up, but then it looks like the whole thing sort of removes and let's see what's next so we remove the sticker and then i think we use that to push down i see so now we have it on the phone but we still have another surface we need to take off so we'll take this other surface off and now we have the screen protector on the phone and it is just about perfect the easy way to tell is to actually black out the phone or turn it off and whoops let me do that and there are two small air bubbles one here and one here but they're going to be really easy to get rid of with this included soft spreader basically so there's one totally gone and there's the other one totally gone. Now what's nice is because they have the install tray, you always get it perfectly squared and perfectly positioned the first time. And now that I actually turn off the phone again, then, oops, <laughs> then I can now see there are no bubbles, there's no anything. It is a perfectly installed screen protector. So nice job Spigen. Little complicated with take this off, then take this off, then take this off. So there are a lot of steps in this, more so than other protect other screen protector installation systems I've seen. But the end result is we have a nice phone, the iPhone XR, and it has a nice screen protector on it. And it's tempered glass, oleophobic, so it's not going to get fingerprints as I use it. And that's nice. I hope that you saw that it was pretty straightforward to install. Now, before I tell you how much it costs, and I guarantee you'll be surprised at the price. But before I get there, go ahead and click on subscribe. I really appreciate when you subscribe to my channel. And do me a favor, if you actually don't use screen protectors of any sort, then tell me why in the comments. I appreciate that. This is a good debate for us to have because I always put them on everything because I just figure it's like a little tiny inexpensive insurance policy. Your mileage may vary. So this is the Spigen Glaster Tempered Glass Protector 2-Pack for $10.99. And you can check them out at Spigen's website and pick one up for yourself. So Dave Taylor, I think we have this perfectly installed. So I think we just need to put it back in its case. And that means I'll catch you in my next video.